Critics, questions and controversy today over the framework nuclear deal with Iran. It is the first full week of debate after that agreement was reached on Thursday. And we start with Juliana Goldman in Washington, D.C. I'm not trying to kill any deal. I'm trying to kill a bad deal. Making the rounds on American television, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said he's urging Congress to either change the nuclear deal with Iran or gut it. Iran will have billions of dollars flowing to its coffers, not for schools or hospitals or roads, mm -hmm. but to pump up its uh, worldwide terror machine and its military machine, which is busy conquering the Middle East as we speak. In an interview with New York Times columnist Thomas Friedman, President Obama had this message for the Israeli people. Number one, this is our best bet by far to make sure Iran doesn't get a nuclear weapon. And number two, what we will be doing even as we enter into this deal is sending a very clear message to the Iranians and to the entire region that if anybody messes with Israel, America will be there. The deal cuts Iran's nuclear capabilities in exchange for lifting the international sanctions that have crippled its economy. But since negotiators returned home, they've been telling different versions of what they agreed to. Iran says sanctions will end immediately once the deal is finalized. The U.S. says the process will be gradual. After tweeting that the American description of the deal was spin, <laughs> Foreign Minister Javad Zarif went on Iranian TV Saturday and said he's formally complained to Secretary of State John Kerry. But U.S. officials say the differences are strategic, with each country trying to sell the deal back home. Energy Secretary Ernest Moniz, one of the lead U.S. negotiators, insists the U.S. version is correct. On sanctions, uh, make it very, very clear. Uh, the sanctions relief uh, really kicks in only when they have complied with the, the core nuclear restrictions. In the New York Times interview, the president said the deal is far from finished and cited political difficulties in Congress. Jeff, the White House is furiously working behind the scenes to sell this deal to lawmakers. The Senate Foreign Relations Committee is taking up legislation that would give Congress a vote on any Iran deal, and Democrats have signed on to it, even though the White House has threatened a veto. Juliana, thank you very much.